Also breaking today, that tragedy on Detroit's west side, a nine-year-old getting hold of a shotgun, accidentally killing himself. Now this happened in the 6600 block of Barden Street. That is near Livernois and Tyerman. And that's where we find 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmarina. Palmarini live on the scene. And uh, I mean, you just can't say anything other than it's tragic. That's right, Carolyn. It's been a very, very upsetting afternoon for neighbors here. Lots of crying, lots of confusion over how such a young boy could have gotten hold of such a dangerous weapon. It just say. Neighbor Kim has lived here for nine years. She says she's crying for the little boy and his family because this just breaks her heart. I cried because it's sad. You got a little child that's dead for no reason at all. Why? I mean, why wasn't the gun put up? According to police, the shooting happened around 1 o'clock. The boy, his father, and at least one other sibling were at home. And police say the gun appears to belong to dad, but they don't know how the boy got a hold of it. We will conduct an investigation. That's, uh, again, our heart and prayer does go out to the family member uh, in this situation. But how does a 9-year-old get possession of a weapon? Police have not commented as to why the boy was not in school, but it is a question many neighbors are wondering about. If you'd been in school, this wouldn't have been happened at all. It's just been another child that's in school trying to learn something instead of being at home, and you know, lost his life. And Chief James Craig wants parents with weapons to be extra careful and lock up their guns. He says he's seen enough senseless accidents like this, and neighbors like Kim agree. Your child is more important than anything else there is. So. Their safety should have been number one. This baby had his whole life ahead of him. And now look, he's gone. For what reason? A Chief Craig says his department will be conducting a very thorough investigation, but it will be up to the Wayne County prosecutor if any charges are filed. Live on Detroit's West Side, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. All right, Brianne, thank you so much. Also